Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. Today we're going to talk about Verde Agritech. I told myself I should make less videos on this, but I couldn't resist. So here's another video. You can see that it has uh, retraced a bit. So some of the paper handlers are selling and we should be going higher right now when all the excess baggage is gone so then the real diamond handers will push this higher now there has been some talk about oh the pe ratio is 100 eh? pe ratio is 100 people can't do math okay they, they can't calculate. So they just look at Yahoo Finance and then they say, oh, the PE is 100. I'm not going to buy that. It's too expensive. But uh, I'm going to show you what the real PE is right now. So let's do the calculation. So basically, Verde Agritech has revenue coming from potash and it has costs coming from oil. Oil is the largest cost because they need to track a large amount of glauconite to the customers. So that's the largest cost. I'm not going to calculate on the administrative costs and all of that. So I'll just take the oil price as the cost okay so that's the basis of my calculations and this press release so what does this press release say they had 700,000 tons target for this year and we have earnings per share uh, numbers here okay that's the basis of my calculation also this is based on a price of $500 potash, right? $500. And the potash price today is going from 700 to 1,200, right? So these are the numbers that we have. And let's calculate the PE ratio now. So I have the numbers here. We had a $70 oil price at this time of the year, January. So I took 70. Potash price is 500 as they have used 500 for the calculation. You can see that here. So 500. Earnings per share is 0 0.5 Canadian. Production, 700,000. Now we can calculate the revenue, which is 500 times the production, 700,000, divided by six, because that's the concentration. It's six times, six times the uh, glauconite is six times the potash. So we need to divide it by six. Okay. We convert it into Canadian dollars at exchange rate of 1.26. So that's a revenue of 73 million, which is the same as here. And share count was 50 million. So the earnings are earnings per share times share count, right? So that's the earnings, 25 million. In US dollars, it's 20 million. If you find anything wrong with this, just tell me. So these are the earnings for the year, 20 million. Costs are revenue minus earnings. That's the cost. Very easy. Cost of 38 million. So they have quite a large amount of costs involved. So revenue of 60 and a lot of costs 40 million but they still have earnings of 20 
million. Okay. So what's the share price at that moment? It was 3.77. So it was a PE of seven and a half. PE is the is the share price divided by the earnings per share. So that's the PE ratio. It was seven and a half. Okay. So this is the base number and we are going to copy this to today, April. So what's changed in April? Oil went up. Went from 70 to 98 right now. Potash went up more. It went from 500 and now it's 1200. Okay. So earnings per share, let's let's go to the production first. So we use the same production, seven and a thousand. Okay, it's the same. Because we are now calculating what the PE ratio is right now. So revenue, same as before, 1,200 times the production divided by six. So we have a revenue now of 140 million. That's quite a lot. It's more than the 60 million. So it's doubled. Okay. And in CID, it's also doubled. Share count is the same. Earnings. Earnings are the same as K320 oh, earnings is revenue minus costs. Okay. Revenues minus costs. And what are the costs? So I calculated this as the previous cost divided by 70 oil going to 98 oil. Okay. That's reasonable, right? Oil price rises and we increase the costs. So it's now 53 million costs instead of 40 million costs. Okay, the earnings is still revenue minus costs. So the new earnings right now on April this year is 86 million. So earnings went from 20 million to 86 million. So that's a fourfold. Can you see that? 20 million to 80 million. Four times. Four times earnings increase. Okay, today the share price is 7.69, as you can see here. So what's the PE ratio now? It's this divided by this is three and a half. So Actually, Verde Agritech today is cheaper than it was in January, if you can calculate and do math. Verde Agritech today at a higher price is actually cheaper than in January. Keep that in your mind. PE ratio has gone down to three and a half. Now, we are not done yet. Next year, January, they are going to increase production to 3 million. So that's for next year. From 700,000 to 3 million. So we use the same numbers, all the same numbers. Uh, revenue is this times uh, the price, production, okay. And then share count the same. Earnings is still revenue minus costs. And the costs, what are the costs? We are, going, um, we are taking these costs divided by production because we are now producing more. So if you produce more, the costs will go up by that amount because you need to ship to truck all of that product to the customer. So we divide it by 700,000 times 3 million. So we have 230 million in costs. I'm not um, adding all the salespeople in it. So 
uh, let's just because this oil is the largest cost we just take uh, the amount of production that is added so the costs are now 230 million next year revenue is 600 million so the earnings are 370 million right so let's say the share price doesn't do anything by next year it's possible uh, i uh, investors can be really dumb so if the share price doesn't do anything then we have a pe ratio of one below one so that's uh, still share price divided by earnings per share 0 0.8 by next year okay and we are not done yet in 2024 they are going to 13 million production so we do the exact same calculations. Costs are, in this case, this cost divided by this times this. So 1 billion in costs, but the earnings are 1.6 billion and revenue is 3.3 billion. And we are going to an even lower PE ratio of 0 0.2. 0 0.2 in two years. Can you grasp that? That means that if you go to a normal PE of 10, it needs to it needs to 50 fold, right? Yeah, it needs to 50 fold from seven dollars to around what's it, seven times 50? Around oh, yeah, it's just above 100 so there is a huge amount of upside coming for this company and people don't understand this but that's very good because then we can buy more if the market doesn't understand what is coming then we should just take advantage of this discrepancy okay so let's do some sensitivity analysis let's say the potash price goes to 800 then the pe ratio is still at eight okay let's say potash goes to 1500 then you have a very cheap pe ratio of course it can also go back to 500 then PE ratio doesn't look that good anymore. So, of course, at 500, you would expect the oil price to come back down to, let's say, 60. And then the PE ratio is back, okay. So that's for this year. Next year, if the potash price goes to 500, it could be then we still have a PE of below three, which is still a double. Of course, the oil price will come back down 75. Garrett Soloway said that oil could go to 75. Then we have uh, a PE ratio of three. I think my calculation doesn't take into account the oil price here. so. It uses the oil price of this here. Yeah. So let's take 75 here. Then we have still a PE of 4. So there's a good uh, margin here. But I think the potash price will stay at at least 1000. Oil will be right at 90. And then we have a PE of one. Okay, that's for next year. So there's plenty of upside. And then in two years from now, we could be at 90 at the potash price of 1000. And PE ratio is one quarter of one. So 
there is plenty of upside even in worst case scenario of 500 we still have a PE of below 2 so that's still a 5 fold so that's the calculation that I have today we are today at a PE of 3.5 to 4 okay not at 100 as Yahoo is telling us and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.